Okay, we are back with the second part to our, our cylinders, our vases with sunflowers in them. What you're going to do for part number two is get that cylinder, that vase shape on final paper. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. Since I'm working on black paper, I'm going to be using my white oil pastel. If you have oil pastels, that's awesome. If you don't, you can use a white crayon. You can also use a white piece of chalk. Even driveway chalk will work, outdoor chalk. Um, so I'm creating my cylinder in the same way. Closing that off up here. I might see through my face a little bit. I am gonna go through and add some highlights um, on my vase, just so I'm showing some reflected light. I'm gonna have to um, work with those a little bit more in a little bit, but we're gonna move on to our sunflower shape. So I'm gonna try to use some colors that you can see well. Um, when, I'm, when I'm using or making my sunflowers, I wanna work way up here. So whatever part of my sunflower I'm working on, whether I'm working on the center of my sunflower or the petals, the rule is going to be you have to use at least two colors. So I started with that gold color. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna add some darker brown. I can add some texture by doing some stippling here with some different browns. But now I have my two colors there. Don't be afraid to stop it too. Um, you can always keep going. You can always keep adding more color that adds more depth and more texture. So I have the center to my flower. Once my center is there, I'm gonna go ahead and add some leaves. Now I'm doing um, pointed ovals, but you're welcome to do oval shaped leaves, triangle shaped leaves, whatever makes you happy or whatever you can do well. Now my flower is ending up being really big. I might only actually fit two flowers on this paper and that's okay. I just want to show you that when I add the color into my leaves here, especially because I'm working on black paper, it doesn't look like a super great yellow to me. But remember that rule, whatever shape I'm working on, I need to have at least two colors in that shape. So I'm going back and I'm adding some orange, I'm adding some gold, just so I have a little bit more texture and some value in each of my petals. So that one petal has four different colors in it. And I'm ready to move on to my next petal and so on. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that flower. I'm gonna leave it for a second and show you one other way to add a flower. Um, I'm going to show you one where the petals might be drooping or um, kind of dying, I guess, but I'm starting with my two color center, adding any texture that I want there. Sunflowers can be a lot of different colors. I know generally I think of yellow, but you certainly can use gold. Um, anyway, this time I'm going to do my petals all facing downward like this and oops my I don't see all the petals in the back they're kind of behind the flower here so once I fill these in once I fill these in hopefully it will look a little bit more realistic so the the petals are kind of drooping behind my sunflower shape. Um, I'm not sure I, I love that. I'm turning it around to work on it a little bit. Um, but you can make those petals droop down. You might see some in the background behind the other ones. This is not my best sunflower but that's okay I'm gonna make it work and if I don't like how this one looks I can always change these petals <clears throat> and make them bigger and make them come up and around the flower instead so eh, it's not too bad not too bad I'm gonna leave it and just call it a happy accident <laughs> 
All right, so I finished off that flower. So we can have droopy flowers, bend flowers. We can do sunflowers that are at different angles. Once you have your flowers done, and I could probably fit another part of one up here. So if I wanted to throw another sunflower here, adding two colors in my center, I could do that. Um, and then I can do it so my petals are not overlapping. If I hit another petal, I have to stop. If I hit another flower, I don't want to go over top of it. It's going to be a flower that's behind. And then the rest of my flower is going right off the paper into La La Land up here. And that adds a lot of interest to the viewer. It's a good way to make a strong composition when you have overlapping, you have images going off the edges, just makes for a more interesting piece of art. So once you have that, once you have all of those colored in, you're just, the last thing you're going, one of the last things you're going to do is add stems. So when you add a stem, watch this carefully. I'm going to figure out where my stem's going to come in into the vase. So I'm going into my vase here. I'm going over that back line, but I do not want to go over this front line because the, the stem is in the vase and then I'm going to continue it down here, okay? So if I accidentally go over a little bit of that white, I can fix that up. So if I have this one coming in here, I go over the back side, I don't go over the front white, and I extend it down. My one back here is coming in here, going over the back side, and then extending it down into the water. You're welcome to add leaves on your stems. I highly recommend adding a second color to give it a highlight, um, some value there. So you can do a couple things to finish this off. One thing you can do is you can add a table that your vase is sitting on and you can color all of that in. Okay. Um, if you'd like to put a little bit of water in your vase, you certainly can. I would just do it really lightly. A piece of chalk would be awesome if you had that, but otherwise just a really light um, little bit of water in there. Water doesn't really have color. I just did it with a really light blue. And then of course, if you went over any of your lines that you really should be seeing, like these highlights or any edges that you accidentally went over, you can certainly take your white again to add those. And there you have a vase of sunflowers. Your last and final step is to snap a photograph and send a picture of your artwork to me. I love seeing it, but I also um, want to make sure you're doing some art at home. So please send it to me um, through our Google Classroom or the other ways that you can send art through Remind or Flipgrid. You can always email it to me, whatever works for you and your family. But whatever the case, have fun creating and learning how to draw a cylinder. Make sure you do that first this week. And then you can finish it up by adding the color. And this will take a, about two art classes here in school. So I will see you in a week or so. Have fun, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.